Here it is, you guys. Alright guys, today is January 4th, import face-off is tomorrow, um, the car is running good, uh, I did have my friend Taylor, huge shout out, he came over and helped me with the shifter cables, uh, those had to get adjusted, they are adjustable underneath the shift boot, super easy, I didn't know, uh, he came over, helped me, he knocked that out. So that's done, everything it's a lot of noise, it makes a lot of noise. Um, the drive shaft, uh, I know, still needs the carrier bearings. There's plans to upgrade that. Um, what else? Transfer case bolts. Um, I saw one backed out right now when I looked and one is missing, so I gotta jump down there, fix that. And I need to install these stock brakes, two piston, 1G front calipers and rotors and brake pads. Um, I'm just gonna throw them on there as nasty as they are because I'm running out of time and I'm pulling off the bears so that I could run some slicks tomorrow. So the bears are gonna come off, uh, stock's gonna go on, run some slicks tomorrow, hope for a high 10 second pass but to be honest, I am super nervous. I almost don't want to race because I'm afraid to break the car. Um, I cannot afford to keep breaking this car. So this is uh, probably probably the last event I'll be able to do before my daughter's born. So time to move on to other things possibly, guys. But not really. I'll still have the car. But... I just won't have as much time anymore, but yeah, I'm going to pull off the wheels, um, I'm going to have to bleed the brakes, and we'll see how much I decide to record this, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and pull off the wheels, you guys don't need to see that, and then uh, I'll start probably with the passenger side since I cleared out this side of the garage, tons more room now, and plenty of room still over here also to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and see where I wanna start. Let's do this again. Let's try to explain this one more time. I'll probably edit out the other one. Pull the C-clip off of this guy here. Then they're nice and tight. I've already pulled it out. 10 millimeter and a 17 to loosen this guy up. Don't forget, if you're zip tied, remove the zip tie. Back here, this is the bare brake, so the caliper uh, bracket is three, four socket. And uh, this is different than stock. So there's these two bolts, and then there's the bracket that extends this out to use this setup. Uh, it's from a Cobra Mustang setup. So super easy. I'm going to remove these two bolts, set this off to the side right here on the bucket, and then I will toss this one. I did have the incorrect one on the size. Remember, these lines point up, not down. So I'm going to set this guy off to the side and then wheel this guy in and try to line it up and uh, try not to lose too much fluid. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, See if I can set up the camera possibly.
here is the new one. I'm going to set in the new caliper so that all I have to do is get the brake line and this is all done and then it's just swapping brake lines real quick. So let's start with We'll start with the caliper bracket. And then I'll set the brake pads on there. may not be able to see this but now I'm going to take off that brake line and connect this one remember it's a 10 and 17 open end Okay guys, if you're able to see, there it is. Don't forget to put the C-clamp back on or else you'll have a rattle nose noise there. I zip tied the brake line up here and I tightened up everything. The caliper bracket and the caliper bolts are both done. Now I'm going to go do the other side and then we just got to come back and bleed it. So far, so easy. Okay, finally got that all off. These lines are old, terrible, rounded here. The other lines were rounding up everywhere. I got lucky to get it off here, which is the one that goes here. I just gotta add the little uh, bracket that goes around the coilover. But don't forget, that's the bracket for the bear. Uh, those two bolts right there go through right here. It's uh, basically like those two bolts for the bracket. And then those other two are to hold the brakes. If you understand. I'm trying to explain it kind of in a hurry. Difference in rotor size. Huge difference. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this back together now. This is the easy part. Okay guys, I don't know where I left off. Um, here goes the bare brakes, the bracket to work with the, the DSM knuckles. And the big rotors that, that came off. And we're back to little stalkers. I've already bled the brakes. I had to zip tie this all weird because uh, I didn't have the bracket on this one. The other side's much better. Um, I think I said it at the beginning of the video that I had a transfer case bolt that was stripped out here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's one that was stripped out. And I removed it. And this one was also missing, which I don't know if you guys can really see it. But there's another one missing. I added a, a longer bolt with a nut on there. But this one I cannot replace. I don't have anything long enough. But all the other bolts are there. 
so at least that one's on there and hopefully you guys can see it but other than that I had to remove the exhaust again and I had to take the downpipe off to get that long bolt out so I'm gonna finish buttoning this up it's probably 11 o'clock at night these guys kicked my tail the ones that were rounding which actually I don't know if I showed you but that's the one I wanted to remove and it's rounded don't forget to put your clips back on help with some rattling but damn this sucks I've already bladed the brakes with the mighty vac <clears throat> so that already got done and if there's any videos that you're hearing that I'm doing like stuff that I'm working on and I don't show it and you guys want to see it let me know and I'll do it I'll make a separate video or something but I'll do it so I'm gonna get back to this okay it's all buttoned up I gotta see if there's an exhaust leak on the downpipe last time I had to remove it I had an exhaust leak so let's start it up no matter what I do with that belt that belt always squeaks if there's a solution to the belt squeaking all the time let me know Sleep. So that's got to fix that before it gets too hot. So let me loosen up this clamp again and tighten it back up. All right, down pipe should be good now. Let's go ahead and give it a start up. much better as far as look about what it is on a cold start super rich Condensation from that good old E85 dripping. I'm gonna put it in first gear and see how it acts. See if there's all kinds of crazy noises still. Oh, 
I hate that belt. No matter what I do, guys, I swear. I'll put my camera under there and see what's going on. Tell still what's that noise is from a quick view on the video. So I don't know. Besides the clutch, the clutch is super noisy, but there's other noises outside of that. Um, hopefully it's just a drive shaft. Remember, there is an upgrade coming, but no more exhaust leak. It's good to go. Smaller brakes. Import face off. January 5th. Today's is January 4th. It's almost midnight. I've almost been up for 24 hours. But I am pretty sure I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm going to borrow some slicks. I hope I don't break anything. I'm very afraid to break something. Um, but I guess it's part of the game. But like, subscribe, share. Um, you guys will be seeing this in a while. You guys, I'm going to say March, you guys might see this video. So I apologize, slow on the uploads, but when I have my daughter, it's going to take away time from making videos, so I have a bunch of stuff recorded, and hopefully you guys understand. So, like, subscribe, share, Galant VR4, import face-off, shooting for a high 10 on slicks, on borrowed slicks. So, thanks guys.